visit by Asita. At the moment when the child was born, there dwelt on the Himalayas a great sage named Asita. Asita heard that the gods over the space of the sky were shouting the word Uttha and making it resound. He beheld them waving their garments and coursing hither and thither in delight. He thought, what if I were to go and find out the land in which he was born? Surveying with his divine eyes the whole of the Jambudvipa, Asita saw that a boy was born in the house of Suddhodana, shining with all brilliance, and that it was over his birth that the gods were excited. So the great sage Asita with his nephew Naradatta rose up and came to the abode of Raja Shuddhodhana and stood at the door of his palace. Now Asita, the sage, saw that at the door of Shuddhodhana's palace many hundred thousand beings had assembled. So he approached the doorkeeper and said, Go, man, inform the Raja that a sage is standing at the door. Then the doorkeeper approached Shuddhodhana and with clasped hands said, No, O Raja, that an aged sage, old and advanced in years, stands at the door and says that he desires to see you. The king prepared a seat for Asita and said to the doorkeeper, Let the sage enter. So, Coming out of the palace, the doorkeeper said to Asita, Please go in. Now Asita approached King Shuddhodana and standing in front of him said, Victory! Victory, O Raja! May you live long and rule thy kingdom righteously. Then Shuddhodana, in reverence to Asita, fell at his feet and offered him the seat. And seeing him seated in comfort, Shuddhodana said, I do not remember to have seen thee before this, O sage. With what purpose hast thou come hither? What is the cause? Thereupon Asita said to Shuddhodhana, A son is born to thee, O Raja. Desiring to see him, have I come? Shuddhodhana said, The boy is asleep, O sage. Will you wait for a while? The sage said, Not long, O king. Do such great beings sleep? Such good beings are by nature wakeful. Then did the child out of compassion for Asita, the great sage, make a sign of awakening. Seeing that the child had become awake, Shuddhodhana took the boy firmly in both hands and brought him into the presence of the sage. Asita, observing the child, 
beheld that it was endowed with the 32 marks of a great man and adorned with the 80 minor marks his body surpassing that of sakra brahma and his aura surpassing them a hundred thousand fold breathed forth this solemn utterance marvelous verily is this person that has appeared in the world and rising from his seat claps his hands fell at his feet made a right wise circuit round taking the child in his own hand stood in contemplation asita knew the old well known prophecy that anyone endowed with the 32 marks of a great man as gautama was has two careers open to him and no third if he becomes a householder he will become a universal monarch but if he goes forth from the home to a homeless life he will become a fully enlightened buddha asita was sure that the child would not remain a householder and looking at the child he wept and shedding tears sighed deeply shuddhodana beheld asita shedding tears and sighing deeply beholding him the sweeping the hair of his body rose and in distress shuddhodana said to asita why o sage dost thou weep and shed tears and sigh so deeply surely there is no misfortune in store for the child at this asita said to the raja o king i weep not for the sake of the child there will be no misfortune for him but i weep for myself and why asked shuddhodana asita replied i am old aged advanced in years and this boy will without doubt become a buddha and attain supreme and complete enlightenment and having done so will turn the supreme wheel of the doctrine that has not been turned before him by any other being in the world for the will and happiness of the world will teach his doctrine the religious life the doctrine that he will proclaim will be good in the beginning good in the middle good in the end complete in the later and the spirit whole and pure just as an adumbara flower at some time and place arises in the world even so at some time and place after countless cycles revered buddhas arise in the world so also o raja this boy will without doubt obtain supreme complete enlightenment and having done so will take countless beings across the ocean of sorrow and misery 
to a state of happiness. But I shall not see that Buddha. Hence, O Raja, I weep. And in sadness, I sigh deeply. For I shall not be able to reverence him. The king thereafter offered to the great sage Asita and Naradatta, his nephew, suitable food, and having given him robes, made a right wise circuit around him. Thereupon Asita said to Naradatta, his nephew, When thou shalt hear, Naradatta, that the child has become a Buddha, then go and take refuge in his teachings. This shall be for thy will and welfare and happiness. So saying Asita took leave of the Raja and departed for his hermitage.